buy a Boston beard or two. Now that the Red Sox have won the World Series and many players have been able to shave their faces, you can own what used to be on their faces, at least in the case of David Ortiz and Shane Victorino. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN Sports Business reporter Darren Vell. Darren, how did this all come about? Well, uh, the first step was Gillette, which has a uh, Boston-based headquarters. They uh, were able to secure both these guys, along with the famous uh, bullpen cop. And on November 4th, they shaved their beard. Now, they didn't throw out the beard. They actually kept them. Uh, not sure what we're supposed to think of that. Uh, but uh, today they announced that uh, Shane Victorino's beard and, um, and David Ortiz's beard uh, each can be bought separately. In a, it comes in a case with the razor that they, they, they shave them with and a autograph. Uh, and right now, I, I haven't had the latest check, but as of 2 p.m., I think it was 640 bucks for Ortiz and uh, 355 bucks for Victorino. Expect these to troublingly sell for thousands of dollars. Troublingly, I like that. Where, where does this rank for you among like the weird sports charity promotions? Uh, well, it, it's good that it's going to charity. I've done a lot of stories on weird things. Uh, I years and years ago, uh, when Luis Gonzalez bit out his gum at a game, and, and the gum sold for I think ten thousand uh, dollars. High cop dentures uh, sold for I think nine thousand uh, uh, dollars. Thurman Munson's pilot license, O.J. Simpson's Bronco, or Al Cowling's Bronco. I mean, <laughs> these these things never end, and. Uh, you know, some of it usually when you talk about who wins these type of things, a lot of it goes to someone who just as much wants the item as wants the publicity. Wow. Th those are some Hall of Fame items that you just listed, by the way. Have you heard any response from the other Red Sox? How come those beards weren't also up for auction? Uh, well, I, I guess this is just what was in, uh, in, in uh, the control of Gillette. So I, I, don't, I don't know if there if any other beards are going to be uh, auctioned off. Maybe, 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 maybe they could make a beard ball of all of, all of them together. <laughs> that sounds like quite the plan. Good stuff. Uh, that's ESPN Sports Business reporter Darren Vell with always the most fascinating stories. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.